Hey everybody, how are you all doing? Fine, I hope. This is the video that you all been waiting for, the attribute holder. Such a useful tool. And if you're a beginner, since this is aimed for you guys, you might not know how to work with it. Um, it's a holder that holds attributes. And now that the tour is over. Hope you uh, found this uh, useful. Let's move on to uh, more important things, such as, I don't know. Okay, that was a bad joke, sorry. Um, yeah, attribute holder. So uh, we can store um, spinner and sliders that has like floating values, percentage, uh, booleans, on, off, things like that, and that can control um, modifiers that we have in our stack or even uh, editable, editable poly uh, values. You can actually um, animate values in the editable poly. So if we add one of those, you can see here all of these that has this um, square to it can actually be animated. So if you click an animation we have we can actually animate these uh, but let's uh, <clears throat> let's sh show you how this works because let's add a um, cylinder that's nice like so pretty and give it a um, color like so and we're gonna bend this so let's add some segments, like so. So, you then, uh, so let's say, I, I know I want to bend this. Okay, so here's the bend. So, I want to be able to control this uh, from the attribute holder. Now, of course, if you only have a bend, it's, uh, yeah, doesn't, then maybe the attribute holder is, uh, not that um, convenient, but we could add more things. Um, let's add a twist. Where's the twist? Ch -ch -ch. Come on, like so. We have the twist, but we don't really see that. Uh -huh -huh. Let's add another one instead. Uh, what can we do? Ch -ch 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 taper yeah let's add a taper that's awesome let's set this like so okay so we add a attribute holder and it's blank there's nothing there so we need to uh, first of all uh, add some sliders here and we do that by go into the animation and uh, parameter editor okay so we have the selected object current modifier that's cool a floating value that's uh, good as well I like the slider you can see it here how it's gonna look uh, the spinner is like so but I like the slider and I want to be able to bend this um, both directions so I do a minus if I do 100, that means that um, this is going to be minus 100 and this is going to be plus 100 in the angle, since that is where I'm going to connect it to. So you might want to uh, make this um, higher, but I'm going to keep it at 100. Then we can give it a name, do a bend. And then I click add, and you can see we have the attribute here, or our bend slider. We can add another one. Let's um, do a taper. I'm going to give the name taper. <coughs> and um, let's just set this from 0 to 100. And a slider, float. That's perfect. Add another one, and we are done with that. So, of course, this does not do anything. We need to use the wire parameters. Have you used it before? If not, 
this is going to be a revolutionary experience for you guys. So we click that. Now we choose, I want the attribute holder. Here we can say the, see the, all the modifiers that we have. We have some other things. But I want the attribute holder, the bend. And then we have to pick whip something. And of course we pick whip the same uh, object again. And now I'm going to say, okay, I want that slider to control the angle of the bend. And we get this. <clears throat> so I want the attribute holder to control the angle. So we do the arrow to the right and do a connect. And you could uh, write some, uh, some expressions here. Now it's not as uh, I don't think you can do like loads of them uh, with the uh, wiring. I think there's another way of doing it, but I'm not a I'm not a scripter, so uh, let's just um, not talk about that. So now we control this, and we can keyframe and do uh, all bunch of crazy stuff. Super easy, super fun. That's uh, the important part when working. It's supposed to be fun. Okay, so if I want to control this as well, we do the same thing. Of course, you could do that. Um, I mean, you did, wouldn't have to... Ah, whatever. Taper, once again, click again, do the taper, and the amount, I believe. And do the same thing, like so and we have the control. Of course we could, uh, we, we would probably want to control more things in the taper because now we only control the the amount. So we would probably want to control the the curve as well. You would just add another one and uh, connect that. It's uh, that simple. So that's pretty much it. Now, you know, knowing this, you can add uh, anything. Now, of course, there are uh, maybe better controllers. You could add controllers to uh, to the actual screen that controls certain things on your um, in your scene. Um, but this is one way of doing it. So this is pretty much how the attribute holder works. Right. So that's my uh, quick tip for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Comment on my site if you uh, like it. If you didn't like it, comment. Say you didn't like it. Whatever. I don't care. Bye.